So Donald Trump apparently had a political rally for the first time since the FBI raid. And this is the big thing making the headlines today. Well, there's a couple things I'm going to talk about, but I'm going to start with this one. Trump slams third world raid on his home, says FBI agents rifled through Barron's and Melania's belongings. Oh, no. Oh, no. So I have a clip here of of just that. So I'm going to play this and then we'll read this Fox News article. And this is the thing that Republicans are talking about. Oh, no, they harassed Barron, but they didn't raid Hunter Biden's room. Isn't that crazy? Whoa. Did Hunter Biden live with someone who committed crimes that the FBI would be raiding over? I don't know, right? Oh, Jesus, the volume here is like just non-existent. Come on, Aaron Rupar, do your fucking job, bro. They rifled through the first lady's closet drawers and everything else. And even did a deep and ugly search of the room of my 16 year old son. By the way, can we talk about how like Donald Trump is like knocking on death's doorstep and he's got a 16 year old kid? Like that's crazy shit right there. Like, how old is his oldest kid? Like, 40-something? Like, man, can you stop having kids? My fuck. Leaving everything they touched in far different condition than it was when they started. Can you believe it? The FBI and the Justice Department have become vicious monsters controlled by radical left scoundrels, lawyers, and the media who tell them what to do, you people right there, and when to do it. So anyway, Donald Trump, 2020 election loser, is mad as hell. So anyway, you can see this. Uh, But I want to really get to the comment section here. This is kind of why I have a Fox News article open. Because, again, Republicans, like Republican politicians are saying, oh, they're targeting kids. Like the motherfucker, if your bedroom has like classified like nuclear codes in it or whatever the fuck, like... I don't know why you're putting your son in that position, really. Ultimately, it it really is like Donald Trump who put that kid in the position. Also, Donald Trump who even had the kid to begin with. Like, what the fuck was going on there? Anyway, so uh, let's see. We have Critical Thinker 616. Folks, Critical Thinker is about to log on. Tucked into a bill Trump signed into law in January 2018 was a provision increasing the punishment for knowing... Oh, wait. Okay, this is actually a Critical Thinker. That's great. Okay, here's another one from Brian224478. Dear President Trump, when you win the next presidential election, shut down all of these cabinet alphabet agencies. Wait, cabinet alphabet agencies? Are they talking about alphabet, like the company that owns Google? Or It is dangerous to have federal police force, and it has also become very clear to most Americans how dangerous they have become. No restructuring, just close them down. Again, so the right-wingers are, uh, this guy, seriously, Brian22478, this guy wants to abolish the FBI, abolish the police. I'm in. Like, let's, like, like, whoa, like, you know. So, uh, well, actually, this is really funny that people are, uh, I want to read some of these replies here. Dems leak all the time. Trump's tax return was leaked and nothing. SC brief leaked and nothing. Now, again, the Supreme Court leak was theoretically, I think the most likely outcome was that it was leaked by someone that worked in the Republican uh, side of things, right? So I don't know how a Democrat would have had access to that. I really don't. But anyway, so just throwing that out there. Um... But also, there's been some more stuff going on. So the Republicans are talking about Baron Trump. That's a big deal. But then also, uh, Donald Trump is going after Joe Biden and calling Joe Biden an enemy of the state after, of course, Joe Biden, or should I say, Dark Brandon's speech from the other day. Now, again, I'm not going to lie. I was a little disappointed by that speech. I thought he could have been a lot more hard. Uh <laughs> I thought he could have gone a lot harder on the Republicans, but he's like kind of pretending that there's good Republicans. Again, there is no such thing as a good Republican. Every Republican is a monster. They're all fucking stupid. There is no such thing as a good Republican. If that triggers you, then go fuck yourself. But anyway, let's watch this. As you know, this week, Joe Biden came to 
Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, to give the most vicious, hateful, and divisive speech ever delivered by an American president. Now, again, Donald Trump gave speeches where he called uh, the radical left like they're a cancer. They're going to destroy the country. Donald Trump gave speeches where he had fucking people use tear gas to like, you know, so he could walk out and hold a Bible upside down on accident, right? Donald Trump gave a speech where he was thanking a vigilante police force for murdering someone that instead of arresting them so that they could have a, a, a rightful uh, process, you know, uh, you know, due process and a rightful trial by their peers, they were shot and murdered. I'm talking about Michael Forrest Ryanel, and he praised a vigilante police force for breaking the law. So again, the idea that Donald Trump, after doing everything he did in 2020 at any other point during his presidency, is going to say Joe Biden gave the most divisive speech from any president ever. I mean, Jesus fuck, man. Jesus fucking Christ. It's embarrassing, but let's keep going. Vilifying 75 million citizens plus another probably 75 to 150. Wait. What? Okay, so 70 million people who voted for Donald Trump in the election that he lost in, by the way, and then just out of his ass, he pulls 75 to 150 million more? What? What? Where did that come from? 150 a mil- What? If we want to be accurate about it. Oh, right, okay. As threat so we want to be accurate, so we're going to add 150 million plus 75 million. So what's that? Fucking 225 million people that Joe Biden's attacking? What? To democracy and as enemies of the state. You're all enemies of the state. He's That's true. That is true. Everyone that goes to a Trump rally is absolutely an enemy of the state. That is, I can agree with that. He's an enemy of the state. You want to know the truth? The enemy of the state is him and the group that control him, which is circling around him. Do this, do that, Joe. You're going to do this, Joe, right? I think Philadelphia. Anyway, so Donald Trump, uh, you know, is kind of losing it. He's losing his shit right now. And my question is, why is this guy not in jail yet? Right? Why is he going around doing a bunch of Klan rallies? And why is he not in jail? Like, that's my question. Um... But again, so there's 225 million Americans that Dark Brandon is harassing. I would like to meet these 225 million Americans. I'm sure there's no kind of uh, counting fraud going on with that. But Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, so the orange man not doing so well mentally and physically. I mean, like, look at him. But anyway.